up everybody welcome to another edition of the driving with randy podcast i'm just gonna get right into it for those of you that have never listened my name is road rage randy and i record this podcast i started this podcast in april of 2019 it started off as just an idea to talk to myself because i do it in my car anyways and post it on the internet and now it's a big thing the last episode has gotten quite the traction i think it's personally you guys just loved hearing from my girlfriend and not so much from me but that's okay because we're going to have her on for more episodes in the future. So I want to thank you everyone who tuned in for that episode. Um, right now we are on our way to go pick up a new ox port. Um, the, my old ox port was struggling. That car didn't even have like a, what's it called? The the front, the, uh, the, the guard thingy. I don't know what the, I don't know what it's called. The fence the grill it's called the grill that's what it's called that car did not even have one um so we are on my way to go pick up an ox cord from the toyota dealership this is a 2007 toyota sienna and those of you know that this car is essentially falling apart but one day this podcast is going to take off enough i thought it was the last episode i really did the last episode was very great i thought it was going to Give me enough traction where I could get some big old sponsorships. Hey, you know, they're just going to come on in and they're going to be like, you know what, Road Rage Randy, your 2007 Toyota Sienna, we get it. The tire pressure lights on, it just hit on 200k miles. The, the, the driver's side rear door doesn't open. You got to help the passenger side rear door. It just... Some things in this car do not work. For, and I got some valve that I never take, took care of. But that's okay. That is okay, ladies and gentlemen. Because one day we're going to blow up and they're just going to, you know, someone's going to hit me up. Maybe it's going to be like like a Porsche or, or a Corvette. Or, um, if it's Tesla, we're probably going to turn them down. I mean, you guys know I just, I, I can't stand those fucking electric cars. They're irritating and they're ugly. Get them off the road. And I just don't understand why people would put their life in the computer's hand. I get it. Like human error is probably, I wonder what the statistics are. If there's more human error or computer error, probably human error. Computers don't make a lot of errors. Ah, fuck Tesla. That's all I got to say. Anyways, today we are going to talk about a very special movie that I saw. Special? I don't know if special is the the right term, but it's the term we're going to use. You know what? My glasses are really scuffed right now. I might have to just pull over to unscuffify them. We're going to just take the glasses off. We're driving right now. No glasses. I'm not permitted to do so, but we're, we're badasses here on the Driving with Randy podcast. All right. Unscuffed. Uh, anyways, so essentially the other night, it was the Sunday before New Year's. Um, I wanted to watch a movie. My girlfriend was over, and we didn't really have a movie in mind, and I'm like, I want to watch a weird movie, or just like a, a bizarre, strange movie. So I looked up s- strange movies, and some that came up were, you know, what you expect, you know, Human Centipede, Solo, a Serbian film, um, and some of them just looked a little too gory, she didn't want anything gory, um, a lot of them had to do with just like kidnappings, I feel like, or um, adult napping? What the hell is adult napping called? Kidnap? I think it's just kidnapping. But it's an adult. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Um, anyways, I, 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 I edited my search and I typed weird ass low budget movies. Now, when I think of low budget movies, the first thing that comes to mind is Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Like the first time I saw that movie, it was at my friend Joel's house and it was like 
It was interesting. The first thing I thought of was like, these guys had like a $100 budget and they just scrapped things together to make a set. Yeah, I thought it was absolutely hilarious. I thought it was great. The movie is a great film. So I wanted something along the lines of that. And the movie that came up, uh, I mean, a bunch came up, but uh, we were going to watch trailers, so we got an idea. And this one, I don't think we watched the trailer. I, I believe we just dove right in. And the first scene is what did it for us. The, the first scene's like, this movie sucks. It's terrible. The hell is wrong with this movie? But dang it. God dang it, this movie's good. That type of a thing. To be honest, know where I'm going. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Never mind. Um, so we found this film, Manos, The Hand of Fate. And for those of you that uh, would like to watch it or have seen it, if you've seen it, I feel bad for you. Well, I don't necessarily feel bad for you because I feel like it's a film everybody has to see. All right, so Manos, clearly low budget film. No special effects. It's right up my alley. Um, it was made in 1966. And essentially, I'd say here's the plot. But I'm not sure I can tell you what the plot was. And the, the plot was, it was weird. There wasn't really a plot. There, okay, there was kind of a plot. But the top comment on YouTube was, I love this plot said no one ever, which is probably an accurate statement. The plot was strange. So this movie, it was filmed with a crappy camera. Some of the scenes that were in the dark, you could count the pixels on the scene, on, on the screen. Like there's like nine pixels up on the screen. And you're like, yup, I can tell what's going on here. No, you can't. But it just adds to the movie. And there's a couple scenes that make zero sense. So there's a couple that gets caught making out in their car by the cops three or four times. Like, these guys don't want to go get a room, go to a basement, go to a park. I don't know. They just like to pull over on the side of the, the, the road and make out. And the cop catches them a couple times. And he's like, you kids run along now. I don't want to hear from you guys again. In that exact tone, like, that was the acting level of this movie. It, those scenes made zero sense to me. Now, the start of the movie, it has a family. It's a man, a wife, kid, and their dog. I don't remember the names off the top of my head. But they, they're in a car... They're going on a family trip, a, a vacation, right? Ah, I just got my... It, something flew off this car and hit my windshield. So they come, or, or they're going on this family attrition, or this family vacation to this lodge. And the lodge, they, they seem to get... They, they find a sign that says where the lodge is, but it's clear they took a wrong turn. And they, they get to a dead end, and they're like... Oh, gee, this ain't correct. So, what they have to do is they have to turn around. And when they turn around, they don't end up where they came from. They end up in this other small town. They're just like, I don't remember being here. That The, the lady's acting was atrocious. She, she, It's like you're supposed to be scared, but she'd be like, oh, I, I forget the guy's name. We're just going to say Road Rage Randy. She's like, oh, Road Rage Randy, I'm so scared. But then she'd sit there with like a smile on her face. Like it was atrocious. Now, I did see from the Wikipedia, uh, they did call it improv. So I don't know if there was actually a script or if there was just some kind of an idea and they had to go off of it. But the acting was pretty bad. And then this truck next to us has like a mount... Uh, it's got Mount Everest of snow on top of it, and it's just falling all over the road. It's going to damage someone's car. It's not mine. 
I don't care. And if it is mine, I'm probably going to rage about it on this podcast. Well, the good news is I'm on my way to Toyota. So if I break something, well, they can give me the piece that I need to fix it. Um, anywho, so we, we are, what the, I'm just, where was, where was that? Yes, the acting was atrocious. So these guys find themselves in this town. And they're met by this guy who's sitting at a door. And this guy just looks like a tweaker. Like, he looks like he's on some kind of drugs. Or he's he's clearly not in the right mindset. His name, um, Targo. It, yeah, his name was Targo. He's like... It, it, so the guy gets out of the car. And instead of asking for directions, he gets the whole family out of the car to come see this creepy dude, right? And they go talk, and he goes, well, can we spend the night? And Targo's like, Master would not like that. Master would not like that. He just keeps saying, Master would not let them say, Master would not like that. And we find out later in the movie, the reason that Master will not like them to stay is because there's a child involved. He doesn't like the children. He is, he is in Manos. Manos is the master, right? And it's like, it's really weird. It's, that Manos is running a cult. A, he, he's running a cult, but he's like a vampire. And long story short, Targo lets them spend the night and they see a picture of Manos and his dog. Manos and his dog are above the fireplace, you know, standard picture. And we later find out that, oh my God, this scene, that the, uh, the child runs out of the house after the dog, because the dog ran out, the child runs, and then the girl's like, oh, Road Rage Rain. Where is she gone? Where? Where is our daughter disappeared to? And where is our dog? And they they end up finding her outside. And the the girl comes back. Well, first off, the dog died. So spoiler alert: their dog dies. Um, the guy finds it. And then then the girl, she comes back with Manos's dog, like this giant black dog he she finds it and, and the, the, the mom and dad are just like that dog looks evil you put him down in, in a tone exactly like that too like I swear my acting is on point like that's how bad of actors they are but it's so great like that's the kind of movie I love it's so bad it's good and the other thing is so I, I don't remember how they get the lady to this the man ends up getting tied up the lady I, this is where I have to be but I don't know where I have to be um, it, it, there ends up being a scene where Manos is like laying on a table like a vampire and all of his I think there's five wives that are all tied up and Pretty much Manos' goal is to get this other lady that's staying at the hotel. Targo's like the bait man. He's supposed to get these people. And it's just, it's all sorts of weird. The ladies get into a fight and the, the fight's like, the, the fight was really bad. It, I felt like it went on way longer than it needed to. And it was like they weren't, the, oh, there was some punching and the punching was was pretty rough. It's like WWE in the 1966. Like, I don't know. I I absolutely loved the movie. I, I probably said some spoilers. I would highly recommend you guys check it out. I really do. I think um, films like that are absolutely spectacular. We are finding our way into the Toyota parking lot. 
I need to find all the Siennas and just like I'm gonna get an erection if I do that. I got I, I should have worn my boots too because now I'm alright. So I think this might that's the showroom. We don't wanna be in the showroom. I need to be somewhere services. It says services. I'm just looking for parts. Parts. Um, we're just gonna go ahead. Manos. I would give Manos a solid, like, maybe. Oh, sorry, lady. Um, we're parked right here, and we're gonna just go on an adventure and see if I can find that service center entrance. This man looks like he works here, so maybe he'll let me know. Manos, I would give it like a a, a solid. Probably 8 out of 10 stars. Like, that's how bad and good it was. And it, it's funny because on IMBD, it, it was actually, like, 1 point... I think it was 1.6 stars out of 10. Like, people absolutely hated it. But that movie is just, like, right up my alley. I love it. I will, I will be right back. I need to find out where I get this Toyota part. So, um... You guys hang tight, and I will be right back. I mean, where are you going to be going? You're going to keep this. Oh, the Toyota. All right, this guy will help me out. I need to know where I pick up parts. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. We got the ox cord thingy port thing made in Mexico. We're going to get that installed. We're going to have. Are we going to have an installation with Randy? <laughs> that might that might be an absolute shit show. Look at all the Toyotas. Just look at all of them. Look at all these Toyotas. The Siennas are looking beautiful, but they're nothing like a 2007 Toyota Sienna. We'll, we'll tell you that much right here, right now. Road Rage Randy's review of a Toyota Sienna 2007. You guys know how I feel about this car. It's lasting me 200K miles, baby. It's, it's doing well, doing well. Um. The next thing I want to talk about is because we talked about Manos, I also have a topic. Me and my girlfriend decided on something we were going to do this 2020. While I think we all have goals for ourselves and goals for our relationships out there, I want to do something where we don't get to see each other too much I should say we normally see each other once or twice a week um, you know more is always better I would love to spend more time with her as I believe she would like to spend more time with me so I wanted to do something that we can do while we're not together and we started I asked her if she had the iPhone message games and we were playing them on New Year's Day she slept over and we were just we played some games and I decided, you know what? Let's do this. So every day for the whole year, we're going to play a game. Um, we're two days deep at the time of this recording. Um, and we're going to play a game every day. And we're going to keep track of the score on Twitter so we can get publicly shamed when she wins as she did today, so I'm going to get publicly shamed by all my Twitter followers, and if you're not one of them, you can head on over to my Twitter, at Thoughts by Randy, and drop me a follow, and I, ha I have a thread set up, and the thread is, the, the thread is basically, it's going to have a recap of the game, who won it, and what we're doing is winner gets to pick the next game. Now, something that a lot of people struggle with when it comes to New Year's resolutions is they don't make their goals easily attainable. Now, some things aren't going to come easily, but they don't look at the ways they're going to get to their goals. And I think this one is, it's a fairly simple goal. I think, um, you know, just taking a little bit of time to play a game when we're texting anyways, it's, it, we take a little bit of time to play a game. I think everything will, I think it, it's going to be an easy thing to keep up with. 
So I was informed that it is a leap year, so we're going to have 366 games by the end of the year. And I said, if we keep this up until like June or July-ish, is that'll be halfway through the year, which I think it will. I, I don't see it, how we would stop playing. I'm going to buy a trophy, and it's going to say, like, I message game winner or something, and 2020 on it. I just think it's a little fun, cool idea. And then I thought I'm just going to create this giant thread, and then New Year's Eve 2020, I know we're talking way out there, 2020, we'll, 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 film, maybe, we'll maybe film a podcast or... We'll just go over it together and relive all the fun we had, all the great intense game moments we had. Right now, the score is one to one. We played two games yesterday. I won in mini golf. Hole six was, it was something. It took me about eight strokes, but I had a two stroke advantage going into that. And then her balls just, like her, her golf balls, uh, she, she doesn't have balls as far as I'm aware, but you know, her golf balls just weren't going in the right direction. You know, they she couldn't angle them correctly. They were hitting walls and it, it was a hard hole. I, I, I give her that I struggled as well, but having that two stroke advantage really gave me the, gave me what I needed. Um, yeah, I think it's a great idea and we're going to have a whole lot of fun with it she gets to pick the game tomorrow I don't know what she's gonna be picking um you know I'm gonna go ahead and give a prediction I'm thinking maybe she'll want to play beer pong or darts that's what we were playing um yesterday and I think she had a lot of fun with that so look at that that there's a WRX right next to me my girlfriend drives a WRX but hers has a has a spoiler on it and this one just looks very dull without the spoiler, I, I must say. It looks beautiful. Just, it just the, the spoiler really adds to the, the aesthetic of the car. Um, we got to let this idiot merge on, Mr. Mr. Ford. Ford. For, what kind of fucking car is that? I don't even know. Ford Eagle? Incline? Decline? I, I don't even know. Oh, well, it's irrelevant. We are going to go home. We're going to install this. Oh, a Ford Escape. That's what it says. My eyes aren't too good. Or maybe my glasses are still scuffed. She didn't look too happy at me. But, I mean, I let her in in the long run. Um, that's all I got for you guys today, though, folks. Um, Manos, the fate at hand. Check it out. Do something special with your significant other for the year. Have some kind of a goal. We're going to be playing... playing uh, playing some iMessage games. Is that a caboose? It is not. You know, I've seen I've seen two cabooses on this rail line. And this is this is not one of those times, but I thought it was. I thought it was. Um, thank you guys very much for tuning in. As always, check out me on Twitter at Thoughts by Randy. Oh, it's one of those uh, refrigerator call cars. Yep, check me out uh, at Thoughts by Randy on Twitter. Drop me a follow. Um, send me, send me your, your tweets, send me some messages on anchor. We got big goals for the podcast and I'm going to make a podcast on that coming up. Um, go ahead and follow the subreddit drive r slash driving with Randy. It's very inactive, but I keep advertising it for the last like 60 episodes. Um, head on over to iTunes and drop a review. I do read those and I do read them on the podcast if you're that new to the podcast i appreciate you guys checking me out um yeah that's all i got for you guys i hope you guys have a this is gonna be uploaded on a friday so i hope you guys have a great friday god bless you all peace